Hi guys! Welcome back from another video live with Daily. Hello, hello everybody! Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas! <laughs> hello guys! I miss you guys so much. I made a video today because there's so much things that I want to tell you guys. It's a lot of things happen <clears throat> in the past two weeks. I think today is Sunday. Yeah. Almost past two weeks. I remember the last time I made a video is when I passed the, the DMB test. I know I uploaded a video, but those videos, it's like already, <coughs> I already made those here. Yeah, so anyway, guys, yeah, it's a lot of things happen. So I just want to share it to you. I'm going to tell you uh, very important things to just just bear with me so guys as you know if you've been following in my husband youtube channel homesteading of the grid he made a video there of what happened to us <clears throat> to me and to kevin actually guys we got covid yeah i got covid it's been almost two weeks i got covid right after the day that I took the DMV test. Yeah, when was that? I think it's going to be two weeks in Tuesday. <coughs> yeah, it's going to be two weeks in Tuesday. Guys, after I took that DMV test, I got crushed. Like, literally, I got sick that evening. Kevin and I, we celebrate because I passed my DMV test. So, that evening, guys, I got sick. And then, for a week, I got sick. And then, after the day after i know when the time i got sick after two days i took um a covid test and then it got positive yeah guys it's bad when you have covid it's literally bad yeah <clears throat> yeah i got covid and then there's a time guys because my back it's so painful and then i feel like my bones it's so painful it's so hard to breathe my my fever on and off <clears throat> and then my 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 sense of taste it's like bitter yeah it's i uh, it's it's terrible when you have covid but so far now i'm good yeah i only have cough but and then also guys after when i got when after when i start feeling better like recovering my covid and then kevin he got covid yeah maybe because we're staying in the same house yeah that's why he he got uh covid too <clears throat> yeah but all in all guys i just want to talk about positivity so kevin he's feeling better now too he start he start um today is the very first day that he woke up without headache yeah which is which is really really good guys and thank you for all your prayers i know some of so many of you that knows that we both have covid that's why two guys that <clears throat> i'm not making videos for days because i'm really really um what you call this i'm really really uh taking care of myself taking care of kevin and <clears throat> and la okay. and luckily two guys even though me and kevin have covid daniel he didn't get sick at all yeah daniel is super he's super duper fine no signs of any any type of covid and then he's still playing outside he's still eating a lot like literally he's not get affected until now which is thank god yeah so all in all guys we have a really all my my only prayers and christmas guys all i want for christmas that me and my family will will oh, just my prayers guys that i hope that in christmas we're not sick anymore <clears throat> yeah we still a little bit we still have a little bit feeling something like a little bit sick but we are like almost 100 percent better yeah <clears throat> so that's what going on guys and also what else that i want to tell you yeah we had a really really good christmas yeah especially daniel yeah he had um daniel he received a dirt bike uh for for his christmas present yeah <clears throat> he received a dirt bike and then what else did he receive i think that's it yeah just a dirt bike yeah and then oh my goodness 
Daniel ride a dirt bike, I was super nervous, guys. Like when I look at him riding it, I I don't wanna watch him because for some reason I get I get paranoid. Yeah, I'm super duper paranoid on in almost everything. <laughs> yeah, but Kevin told me to watch him riding the dirt bike. Yeah, I watch him, but but the whole time I'm praying that he's not gonna wreck or anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but. Yeah, I'm so glad that Daniel enjoying his Christmas present. So, and also guys, I just want to share it to you guys. Um, That's why it took me forever to make a video too, guys. Because as you know, like, I think almost been a week. <clears throat> almost been a week that, that, you, that if you, if you watch the news, guys, if you see that the Philippines uh, got really hit um, a typhoon or that. I think six days ago, typo no that. And then one of my aunt, her house got, got destroyed too. Yeah, that's of the things too. That's why I'm not making a video too. Because I'm really thinking my aunt so... It's really affect me so bad. Like literally like I just got myself like just staring the wall. And then just imagining what my aunt and my cousins and my uncle went through because of the typo it's it's really it's really so sad guys so we're been help <clears throat> so we're been helping my aunt as much as we can you know i send them money because <clears throat> because she said that when the when the typhoon um typhoon really hit them they've been evacuated in the gym like our gym or school but she don't want to stay there because she saw so many people got sick <clears throat> and then I told her, so where are you going to go if you don't want to stay there? And then she said, when since the typhoon leave, they're just going to build something like just like just like uh, enough post. And then she just want to have a tarp so that they have a cover privacy of their place. But the house, guys, it's totally destroyed. Yeah, they did. They don't have more clothes. They don't have literally nothing. Yeah. And then when I heard from them, it's been two days since the typhoon. And then she told me that they're not been changing clothes because they don't they they don't have more clothes. Literally everything was gone. Yeah, just like that. And also she told us too that when the typhoon happened, nobody knows they didn't receive any any uh what you call that like uh like uh oh my goodness what's the word like no no oh i hope you know what i mean yeah they did no sig oh no oh my goodness that's what's that word yeah guys so nobody knows that that's gonna happen so the yeah so when when the typhoon is really really bad that night so that's when that's when people from their like a police patrol that's when they told them to evacuate while it's still type while the typhoon is still going on so they evacuate and then it's so sad because her husband he stay in the house because he wants to stay in the house because he thinks that he can he thinks that it's so funny the way my aunt my aunt told me because the way he told me it kind of sounds funny because he said that oh uh, she said that <clears throat> she said that her husband want to stay because if the typhoons come she oh uh, he might he might uh save something from the house but my but my aunt keep calling him that you gotta leave what what would you a house is nothing if you're gone if you're dead so what's the point of and besides you can the the type of is stronger than you so you better get out there before it's too late yeah after a few hours he he leave the house and then the next day when they get back it's all gone not like, totally gone like i am super duper 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 sad we've been helping them to to buy the tarp so that they can temporarily temporarily stay in the place the their old house they just save like posts or any things that they can save to make a shelter just uh just for them because they don't wanna they don't wanna stay in the gym where so many thousands of people there and then no no <clears throat> no bathroom that's like nothing there he she told me that if you stay there you only gonna get sick and she don't want that to happen to to her family so yeah we've been helping them and then also guys um <clears throat> um 
if you because when i posted a picture on my youtube there's so many of you are telling me how how you guys can help so i'm i'm if you guys want to help but you don't ha you don't have to do it any help is appreciated but don't feel obligated because i know we just had christmas okay guys so don't be feel obligated but if you really want to help you can send the money through my paypal account i'm gonna put the link of my paypal uh, below in this video and by the way guys my paypal account you can you can you can uh, my paypal account name is dearly lake or you can or you can use the number 434-906-6627 yeah so that's my paypal number too so yeah guys i really really appreciate it if you guys um <clears throat> If you guys um want to help because my aunt, I asked her how much do you think she can, how much do you think she needs to build the, just like, just like a simple house too so that they can, so they can have their house back again. She just told me maybe they just need at least uh 13 to 15 hundred dollars. Yeah, I, um, um, I, I know it sounds like it doesn't very much but in the philippine pesos that is very very a lot that is like almost a hundred thousand pesos that's it's a lot yeah she told me that's all she thinks that she needs to build the house again and buy some clothes and a cooking stuff yeah so until now guys up as of the moment they still don't have uh, electricity they still don't have the what you call that the the oh my goodness what's it the water yeah literally like the village the village that where she's staying it's like they're still waiting the government to to put back or the electric company to put back the water and the electricity my cousin guys when i send when the first time i send them money so that they can have they can buy food to eat and then they can <clears throat> they can move from the shelter where they where they were evacuated i send them money and then my my cousin my aunt uh, eldest she told me that she walked three hours for her able to go to the city hall because only the time that's the only city hall that has power so her cell phone is low but so she had to walk three hours for me for her able to reach me and i'm like oh my gosh why don't you just ride a tricycle you know that's one of the transportation in the philippines she told me you, you cannot because all the roads are closed because so many houses on the road like miles of miles away and then trees it's just a mess yeah, I feel so bad for her. And then she told me that she hasn't eaten yet for almost 48 hours. Oh my God, it breaks my heart. So I, I send them the money. And then now they, and then as of now, they have food to eat. And they have like a, like a shelter that where their house was built. They staying there, but they only just put like a post and then just cover a tarp so that they have a privacy and that's it for now it's just a bad guys yeah i we i help as much as we can but <clears throat> but it's still not enough so um that's why um i'm accepting if you those people that you want to help but you don't feel don't be obligate guys okay because i know we just had christmas so yeah that's it for today guys um i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you thank you guys so much for your prayers and uh, my family now we're all all almost almost 100 percent better i'm still half cough guys and then my sense of taste it's a little little bit bitter but kevin is like his uh his sense of taste and smell is still the same yeah yeah, I feel bad for him because I prepare really nice food, really his favorite food. But it's so funny because he can he cannot smell it and he cannot taste it. But he have a really, really good appetite. So I'm happy for that. As long as he have the appetite, yeah, I'm happy for that. <laughs> so I hope he I hope very, very soon um that he's totally better too.
so yeah that's it for today guys i hope you guys have a very very wonderful christmas and and a happy new year very soon and thank you guys so much for watching bye bye